Hello, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. As many of you know, we're a, a radon supply company right here in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, we sell every radon product you could possibly need to do mitigation. Uh, at least we think we do. Uh, you may also know or may not know, we also have held a radon mitigation license for 20 years. Uh, we've done approximately 8,000 radon systems and we do radon systems each and every day. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about crawl spaces and uh, the things we've learned uh, from doing crawl spaces for 20 years and the method we do it and it might give you some insight on, uh, uh, on how to do crawl spaces slightly different. And so typically when uh, in, in uh, 1998 when, uh, when we first got our license with the EPA before Illinois took the program over, uh, we were watching film and we were watching uh, methods of doing crawl spaces and all of you know all of you know they've been in a crawl space that typically the old-fashioned way to do it was horizontally under the film and the problem with that is once the uh, pipe broke the film you use tape you use caulk you use foam you use everything in the world to try to seal that area but if you've been in enough crawl spaces you'd see that nothing worked none of those items actually worked with the uh, with time and so from day one uh, we we ask ourselves there's got to be a better way this just doesn't look right it doesn't work right let's let's kind of try to come up with a better system and it has evolved but I will say from day one we decided a vertical entry was a better product and like I say it's evolved to this but um, we like entering a crawl space vertically to avoid the uh, the amount of patching you have to do when you enter horizontally and so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, this crawl space platform, we call it, it's available for purchase with us. Uh, we've tried to make it an economical uh, purchase for you. But what, what we do with this platform is first we get an idea of where we want our, our vertical stack to be. So you go in that crawl space, you usually start running some pipe while somebody else is start uh, running your vapor barrier, whether it be Visqueen. This is, happens to be the 6 mil right on film that we carry also. Uh, but we simply, uh, before you lay any film out, you lay this platform out. So we're going to open this up. We're going to lay this platform out as if we were just, just beginning to do a crawl space. And one guy has determined about where this, where this should go. And the other guys simply lay it in place and then start laying their film out. Once you got your film all the way installed, by then, usually somebody else has got the uh, horizontal ran for the radon system, got the T put in, and so now it's now you're elevated. You're elevated three inches with the perforated tile we put underneath it. We often run extensions from there. Illinois requires five feet each way, so very simple to do your Illinois requirement. Uh, it's a good idea whether you're in Illinois or not. So the next thing we want to do, now we've got this platform underneath this radon film, and 99.9% uh, .9 of the time it's not quite where you want it. The beauty of this platform is, so uh, now we're going to install the vertical piece. So we're going to put this vertical piece in here and we're going to go, I'm going to move this up a little, this roof boot, we'll talk about this in a minute, and I'm going to feel around here and I'm going to say, oh my gosh, my pipe's here and my hole's here. And I'm either going to have to do this and have it look really bad or I'm going to have to find a way to move the platform. Well, guess what? This platform very easily moves under the film until you get it lined up where you want it. Okay, so you can push on it, do anything you want within the, within the confines of the crawl space. Great advantage, great advantage. That way you can run a nice vertical lead. Once you get it where you want it, you simply, we've pre-drilled the hole in the center of this thing, and you simply cut that hole out. So we're going to cut a center hole. You do that with scissors or I recommend a sharp knife. <laughs> And once you have that cut out, you can tell that it's right in place for your pipe. <laughs> Oftentimes, now we get underneath here with a caulk gun. We caulk around here like this, okay? 
right on top of that platform that you've got. Push it down, put your pipe in, glue it in. Now here's another nice thing that works very well. Now we put a roof flange down like this. Now talk about a good seal. You don't have, you don't have gobs of caulk. You don't have anything but uh, a nice, just as you would on a roof. We make a mark on the platform itself. We pull it back up. Once again, we run a caulk bead right here, right here. We push it back down. We put, we put four or six screws right here any kind of screw you want to use and you've got the best seal that I think you can possibly get for a crawl space exit point for the radon. Very simple. Uh, the, the mechanics of it work very well. Uh, very affordable. Uh, takes, uh, I can't imagine how much time this saves over the horizontal entryway that we see. So. I uh, hope that idea helps you. A lot of people have some great ideas. This is something that worked ve very well for us for 20 years. Well, it, it has, uh, we've changed it slightly over time. This thing is a little bit nicer than what we used to use, but we've always used this idea, and it's always worked very well for us. Uh, uh, sort of like the saying goes, uh, why change something that works? So available from us, be glad to uh, talk to you about it. Look online, you'll be able to find uh, it is uh, available anytime you'd like to have one. Thank you very much.